today from Seattle, Washington. It's week 17 of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Chicago Bears. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And off we go from Seattle. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here we go, here we go. Yellow, 43. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. the shotgun he'll look to throw and oh right away he lost the football and the Seahawks have picked it up and they bring this one back it's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown huge huge play by the defense not only to force the fumble obviously but to return it for a touchdown and I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often no they're not choreographed very well usually <laughs> the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score and this will not be brought out it's a touchback Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game the partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season the playoffs are not in their future as they start to peer toward the offseason what moves might they make I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league, but the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early, but there's that special one there. I say they go get him. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Looking to throw. Walters. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schneider. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. On now the former Vol, Michael Pilardi. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. Taken in at the 22. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. The fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Well, now they'll try the end around. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Jet sweep here, Smith and Jigba. And he can't quite 
they get there, tackled down at the one. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. This is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Reaching up for it, and he's got it. C.J. Uzama high in the air to bring it in. And the Seahawks have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And Charles, you look at these two teams, and these are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season that if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to them or really dread them, depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look forward to these kind of games because here we've got two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right, you love having easy games on your schedule, but you need some games like this to toughen you up a bit and ensure that you're ready for the shot of playoff football. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Oh, good move. Inside the 20. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and now he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. He'll look to throw. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Jackson Smith and Jimbo with an acrobatic catch. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this hat... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Seahawks 26. 51 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. On first and 10, it's Herbert down to the 22-yard line. Well, this defense for the Seahawks, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And what I saw in film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. 
And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Back to throw. Walters toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Herbert. Will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. 21-0, our score after one. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Operating from the gun. Walters. Touchdown, Bears. Cole Komet with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bears are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach, okay? So he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn to Page and let him get some starts before this season is over. Taking it about the one. Oh, some strong running. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because, to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. On second down, it's Walker. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Here now, third and a yard. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. They're going to look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Sliding out of the pocket. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They'll look to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the five now, second and a yard. On the counter, it's Walker. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle! Kenneth Walker, that's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. the kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field and we are ready to rock and this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line another drive coming up for this Chicago offense 
As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's third and seven. Looking to throw. Walters. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Taking it about the 16. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And they will take over first and 10. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. And this will be a Seahawks first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. He's worked relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Straight ahead, Walker. He's got it to the 43 here. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 28. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. So the interception there. And Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched the playoff spot, but they know. Looking ahead. When they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers at that situation, they really become magnified. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So it, well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting in. So we have skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. The Seahawks with the advantage and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. play and the drive there is incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Smith and Jigba pulling in a one-handed catch. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Flushed out right. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. 
the middle they run. It's I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. It doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Ten more there and another first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. How about... And he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Zach Charbonnet. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Seahawks take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that'll increase their lead to 28. for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And it's taken in at the nine. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man. And he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though. But I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. This second and four. They'll give it up to the big man, Walker. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now back to throw. There's a short one caught by Uzama. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Here now, second and four. On the handoff, this is Walker. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so he'll be third and about the length of the football. He'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. Looking to throw. That'll be caught by Bobo. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back now in Seattle, Washington. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. 
just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now a run with Walker. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Now here's Jason Myers. He gets set for the Seahawk field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Myers' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, hey, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Operating from the gun, Walters over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Seahawks are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. So first and 10 now from the 30. throw here being chased out left breaks through the contact and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 opted to run for it the decision a good one picking up the first getting 14 yards on the scramble on first and 10 it's Charbonnet and a good pick up there he gets about six up to midfield that's it that's what you want straight ahead positive gain just keep that clock ticking Second down and four. On the give, it's Walker. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here.